In this video, I'm going to show you the Excel shortcuts that everyone needs to know. Probably the best time saving shortcut in Excel. First, let's limber up with some navigation shortcut. These are great when dealing with large spreadsheets. To get to the end of the row, press Ctrl right. If you want to get to the bottom of a column, press Ctrl and down. A quick way to get back to the start is to press Ctrl Home because Home is where the heart is. Selecting cells can be a drag when using a mouse. In this example, I want to highlight the top row so I can make the headings bold. To do this, I press Ctrl, Shift and the right arrow. This selects it and then I press Ctrl B to make it bold. If you want to select all of the data, press Ctrl A. Did you know there's a shortcut for totals? Let me show you. To get the total for this column, select the cell underneath it and then press Alt and Equals. Then press Enter to get the result. To get a total for the remaining columns, hold down the Shift key and then press the right arrow to select these cells. And then press Ctrl R and this will fill to the right. It's the same idea for rows. You click here and then press Alt Equals. To fill down, hold down the Shift key and then press the down arrow and then press Ctrl D for down. A quicker way to get the total for the rows and columns is to press Ctrl A to select all and then press Alt Equals. This is probably the best time saving shortcut in the whole of Excel. Let me show you. Here I have a list of fake addresses and I want to be able to extract the town from each address and put it in this column here. So all I do is enter the first town and then underneath I press Ctrl E and my work here is done. To give you another example, you can also use it to add text. So here I have a list of names and I want to create an email address for each person. In the first cell, I enter the email address in the format that I want. I press enter, then Ctrl E and look at this, it creates them all for me. How amazing is this shortcut? Let me know in the comments below. This one's old, but it's pure gold. To quickly insert today's date, press Ctrl and the semicolon. To include the current time, press Ctrl Shift and the colon. This one is useful for those who work with text in Excel. To create a new line within the same cell, press Alt Enter. Here are the shortcuts that I've covered today. For more great tips, check out this video here, and I will see you in the next video.